Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick little update on the blind tortoises. Um, I know about two months ago I made a video about um, I acquired two blind tortoises. One had one eye, the other one had no eyes. Well, about three weeks ago I was at a funeral and the one-eyed one and the blind one were outside. The blind, the one-eyed one, sorry, kept, um, I think he had neuro neurological issues possibly. Um, when he would walk, he kind of had his head tilted a little bit. Just give or take, no one really knew. Um, he did flip over a lot. So with that being said, when I was gone one time, he um, flipped over. I was gone for about four hours. When I came back, he ended up, I flipped him back over. He was slowly, he um, reacted fine. Acted fine, ate no more the other day. The next morning, he did. He was deceased, so I did bury him. Um, what that being said, here's a blind one. Here is the no eyes, growing, growing, phenomenal. Um, as you can see, let's see if I can get. It's kind of where he's at. He doesn't like the. He sees me. He'll um, flip out. But he's very um, active to sound. Um, just if I can get this focus on. I'm just gonna see the growth on him. Yeah, beautiful. A little radiated. Um, so yeah, so that's happening. Blind one's doing perfect. This is how he is. Keep him in this closed container. Change speed about every two to three days. Um, but, drum roll please. I did. So, this one was from an incubator um, malfunction while he was out of town. For about four days he was out and the temperatures um, arose pretty high in there and he believed that's what caused the, um, the no eyes being born and stuff like that. Um, so, I got a text message about a month ago, or no, about, about two weeks ago now. Um, he said, hey, I have another one born no eyes. This is the second occasion it's happened in decades of breeding because I don't know what really caused it. He said, um, it's out in the shed. Um, the incubator is and it, he says some days may have got to low nineties in there. So it could have caused it. Um, so there's really no determining factor. He's hatched out hundreds and hundreds of these babies and this is the first time it's happened. So I met up with him today and I got another one. Um, as you can see, this one's very, this one's very cute. This one's three weeks old. Um, as you can see, he said he hasn't really, he stuck this one outside, that one over here, and his clutch mate. Um, he had him inside and stuff, but since it's warmer out, he kind of just leaves him outside. So, this is kind of what I have him in for now, a little spring mix container. Um, I don't put water in these, obviously, for reasons of drowning. They do get soaked three times a day. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a little interesting little one. Um, he seems very active, as you can tell. But I just wanna give you a quick update on what's going on around here. Um, we do have a pretty neat video coming up. Sad video coming up, but pretty neat to watch and kind of understand the, what really happens with tortoises, so, um, and owning them. But I just want to give you a quick update on the blind rads. Let's see. So, hopefully you like this video. Like I said, follow along, subscribe to the channel, like it, um, and I'll be posting more. Thank you.